What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Thursday. Thursday, we made it. That's right, another week. Um, this one's gonna be quick and down and dirty. I'm gonna get this over with because I have something to do. Well, uh, well, here, let me, let me let somebody else tell you what's going on. Happy birthday, Mrs. Line Screw. I mean blind screw. Oh, my bad. Happy birthday, Mrs. Blind Views. See, I got it right there. Happy <laughs> birthday, Mrs. Blind Views. Happy birthday to you. Adios. <laughs> uh, I'll probably get demonetized because of the music. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Oh, well, what are you going to do? So, how's everybody over there in chat land? Howdy, howdy, howdy. Everybody's over there. Hello, hello, hello. I did leave a uh, link to that video, so I appreciate all the happy birthdays to Mrs. Views. But if you don't mind, since I played it and you don't have to go watch it, please go over and leave a happy birthday over there so he knows you uh, was over there. Cause that's the kind of guy I am, you know, you know, you know. So I'm gonna jump right into it real quick. And uh, that will be, let me see, where am I at? Where is it? There it is, okay. Blind guy issues. We're gonna jump right into Tater, first of all. And then we're gonna talk about Tim, I got to. He just, oh man. But uh, Tater, yeah, he, he's a bad omen. If you think about it, um, when he lived in Illinois, what do you say about, oh, no, no, it always rains, it always rains. His little house was always flooded. His little yard was always flooded. Always raining. Couldn't do anything because of the rain. It's always raining. It's always raining. Arizona, when he was at his base camp, oh, it's the most snow and wind we've ever had. I talked to uh, Kevin, Camper Van Kevin, and he said yeah, that. Quartzite. Ooh. What was it in Quartzsite? It's rain. We have the we had historic rainfall and historic winds. I I found my things three washes over. Historic winds. Texas when he was at his little camp. It's so windy. It's so windy. Fifty five mile an hour winds. But he was up there dancing around and <laughs> throwing wood on this giant fire in fifty five mile an hour winds. But anyway, far be it for me to say that Tater's full of shit because I would never. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, now he's at the Speedway, the good old Texas Speedway. And what we got there? Wind. Wind and rain. Wind and rain. He, he put his flags up. His poor little flags were blowing. So he put his flags down the ground. They're still blowing. And his little stupid light up palm tree, it blew over. And what did he do? What did he do? He just left it there. He left it laying in the damn middle of the road. Went about his business, told us that it fell over. Oh, yeah, look at it. And then walked away. Went in and did some shit. Gathered, he, he picked up his fucking little catio. And then he ran around and did some shit. Oh, is it supposed to stop raining if I look? And he showed us the weather report. And then he comes back out. Well, it's five. And he's standing outside again. And there it is. It's still laying in the same spot. So he just left the shit lay there. God, that guy annoys the shit out of me. To be on TV, they always exaggerate. <laughs> oh man, he just drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. I did think it was funny though. He's fucking. Oh, it's it's historic winds, fifty-five mile an hour winds. Oh my goodness! But he didn't have no problem throwing that fire, throwing wood on that fire, and dancing around like some kind of fool. <laughs> Living my best life. Well, guys. I got to get out of here because you know, it's raining and I'm, I'm getting angry. And <laughs> Oh, man. He's so annoying, it's hard to turn him off. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It, it sure is. Oh, my goodness, this dude. Uh, thanks for all the birthday wishes for Mrs. Views. Hey, there's Pamela. Where you been, yo? <laughs> uh, what's up? Let's see, Tom. Yeah. 
World Bank. Uh, Taylor comment section was telling him to quit complaining about the rain, and he said he's not complaining. He was stating a fact. He can state a fact and stuff. He was complaining the whole fucking time. Talking about. Wolverine Prepper. What's up with you, man? Seriously. <laughs> what happened to your videos where you were ranting and raving and calling us all out for making 10 videos and then you had your little circus thing? You were laughing like a fucking mental patient and calling us all out one by one. And then they're gone and now you're making 10 videos. <laughs> Are you fucking bipolar or what? <laughs> Good Lord. Can you imagine him at 10 years? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I'm supposed to be the grumpy old man. Y'all get off my yard. Uh, that's right. She was born today. She has, uh, she's eight of nine. So she has eight other siblings. And every day on their birthday, her mother calls them and sings happy birthday to them on the phone still. <laughs> she called her this morning. Yeah, he said something about, uh, am I going to get back on the RV? Maybe. Maybe. I don't have to be uh, uh, alcohol and something else. <laughs> I was like, I guess. Well, see, that's the thing. He's, he's a bad um. Everywhere he goes, everywhere he goes, it's historic weather events and this and that and everything. Everywhere he goes all the time. <laughs> This shit fucks me up. So what I'd say is, is you don't have to watch him all the time, but if you're planning a trip and you want to go somewhere, run over to Nomadic Fanatics channel and look to see if he's going there or is there. And if he is, don't fucking go. Cancel your, <laughs> because it's going to be historic weather events. There'll be wind. There'll be rain. There'll be tornadoes. There'll be hurricanes because he is a bad omen. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that the way it goes? Well, I had my uh, <laughs> my issue the other week. Man, it really hurt my views, too. Just fucking around. I saw... Uh, <laughs> I saw... <laughs> Jordy Lioness. <laughs> She's <laughs> what? Grumpy, sneezy, <laughs> and dropey. <laughs> oh. Hey, Marilyn. How you been? Yes, yeah, so I, I knew it was something about not drinking and being careful and all that other shit. That's right. Check before now. <laughs> he's, he's, he's like a good barometer. <laughs> If Tater's going there, it's going to be horrible weather, so don't even fucking bother. <laughs> That's right. Avoid his camping plans. I know where he is, but I'm not going to tell you. I know where he is. <laughs> yes, it is all his fault. The ice caps are melting. It's his fault. <laughs> Well, thank you. Now, see, that's a coffee video. A little bit of editing, not a whole lot, but did you see? I took a little bit of time, put a little bit of effort into it, you know? So, yeah, that's all you got to do. Since we're going to talk about Tim, we'll get into it. He was even flying a Keystone cheap ass beer flight. Yeah. Uh-oh, Rockford's here. I think it is, too. It's all them bergs and stuff. <laughs> Drunk and what a minute. There you go. Well, I vape. I vape every week, <laughs> and if they got demonetized or whatever, oh well, I do it all every week. I'm fucking cranking it out. 
I'm ripping the clouds. It was the best fucking cup. Yeah, I guess he's got that on the agenda soon, I guess. I don't know. In high heels. <laughs> It always it always makes me giggle when I think about Tim and his shit. Oh, you you let the cat out of the bag, okay. But um you know, I don't want to spend that money dagging that flag staff around. That's his excuse. But yet <clears throat> is Tater expecting a tater top perhaps. Oh <laughs> goodness. But yet he will uh <laughs> he'll he'll get up every morning he'll go drive and spend a couple bucks on a cup of coffee it's just like anything else you can spend two dollars three dollars four dollars five dollars a day whatever it is on a cup of coffee or you can go get a big old bag of beans or even coffee or whatever for you know and you break it down to the amount of cups for what you spend even if you spent say 15 bucks on a bag of coffee and you get you know fucking <laughs> You know, 30 cups out of it. Da da. It's cheaper. And you don't have to drive and burn gas. But he's living the life. Who am I to, who am I to say? But since we're talking about Tim, I just want to say he, he, he's on his fucking kick now that he's goody goody and God's on his side and God provides and God gives him and God grants him blessings and everything. Tim relies on God for every fucking thing because God does everything for Tim. And, and, and I know that there's religious people here and I don't, that's not what I'm saying. That the thing is, is that Tim's used to doing nothing. So anything that happens to Tim, it has to be the work of somebody else. You know, it, it's like that football player that, you know, he gets that touchdown and he, oh yeah, God, I get all the grace. God, and God was looking over me. Like God cares if you fucking win a Super Bowl. I think God got better things to do. And Tim attributes what others do for him as divine intervention, you know? Oh, he just, and he, and he quotes scriptures from a not Bible. And then he's, when he does, when he, even when he does do that, he, uh, he reminds me of Bush. Remember, remember Bush when he did <laughs> fool me once, shame on you fool me twice. Never, never get fooled again. Yeah. You know, that's what that reminds me of. When he was reading little quoting little scriptures and they said and we do the lord's prayer you you forgive us trespassers and and, and the ones that trespass what the fuck are you saying dude <laughs> what does that mean get off my lawn no that's not the way it goes <laughs> i am a fucking non-believing heathen and I know more about the scripture and the Bible than this clown does. And it just makes me fucking laugh. <laughs> I really loved OG Simpson. What we got here? You like dark, strong coffee. You ever try the dark roast beans from Costco? Yes. That's what we do. See, I heard some other folks say about that. But here's the thing. When I, uh, Agnes is here. Hello. When it's me and the missus, what we do, we get, we get bags. We, we probably have four or five bags, but we, yeah, we get the big beans. It's the Costco brand. Now they, 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 we used to get the uh, Starbucks stuff, but, um, Costco's has their own brand now, the, the Kirkland stuff and it's, uh, tastes the same and it's a lot cheaper. So we get that now, but yeah, we do grind our own beans when we make the, I don't know if, how much you were paying attention, but when I was making the coffee, it has the single thing for the K cups and then it has a, you know, the little carafe, the, the coffee pot. So when it's both of us, we, uh, we go ahead and, uh, we grind the beans and do all that stuff and make a pot. But when it's just me, when she's watching the weans and, um, I'm getting up and just making a cup of coffee in the morning, I don't go through all that horse shit, making a pot and we're making just that much. I just fucking throw in a K cup and boof, make it boom, done over. I do have the little gizmo though that I could, you know, use to grind grind some beans and put it in that thing and put it in there in the K cup thing, but that's something else to deal with and clean and everything. I just fucking throw the K cup in, do it, throw that fucking thing away and drink. I'm lazy. I'm not stupid. 
<laughs> but yeah, so um, I do, I do grind. We do do the grind thing, and we do when we make a pot for both of us. But again, when it's just me, I I ain't going through all that hassle. But uh, then Timothy, good old Timothy. Apparently, I'm doing YouTube all wrong. I was going to make a video tomorrow about it and just make a little thing. I was saying the fact that I don't think the big pods were available any longer. I just left Evie to watch the members video. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm apparently I'm doing, uh, doing YouTube all wrong because we got we got Mikey of course who does his begathons and that's the only time he does a live stream so he can hold his phone and hey I'm watching my PayPal you guys aren't giving me money um and we got a lot of other beggars but Tim did a video today I just saw it and I clicked on it because it was only two minutes and 30 some seconds long so I clicked on it to see what he was yabbering about and you know what it was Buy me a coffee. Now, don't go out of your way if it's going to, you know, put you out or anything, but buy me a coffee, and I want to thank everybody that buys me a coffee. And um, if you can't afford it, go ahead, man. Buy me a coffee. Buy me a coffee. And uh, my Amazon affiliate, click on that. I want you to go and shop away. Just shop to your heart's content. Shop to your drop. Da -da 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 -da. That was the video. Hi, I'm Sarasota Tim. Buy me a coffee. Use my Amazon affiliate. I'm crushing it. That was it. So he literally did a video just to fucking say, send me money. Are you kidding me? That shit just, I don't know, man. Why do you carry people back? I, don't, I guess it just, I wish I was a shameless fuck and could get on here in every video I made. Hey man, send me money, send me money. Uh, my PayPal link is down there. Find that shit. Click on it and send me money. Hey, this is a live stream. See that little fucking dollar sign at the bottom? You better click on that shit and give me a super chat. Oh, yeah, and be a member, too. It's only a buck or two a month, and then there's a bigger tier. doesn't matter. Just join. Be a member. Come on. Send me money. Send me money. Send me money. Watch my videos. Share my videos. Fucking like my videos. And if you don't, I'm coming to your house and fucking burning it down or whatever. But send me money, like, share, subscribe, and all that. Man. People just trip me out with that shit, man. It just trips me out. Ugh. And to make, not even just slip it in in a video and then go about your video. No. It's fucking made a two-minute video just to say, <laughs> send me fucking money. <laughs> I didn't mean send me money. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You know, everybody knows where it's at. Everybody knows how to do things. If you want to, go ahead and do it. Oh, well, I have to, Tim said, I have to tell everybody because if I don't, they forget. <laughs> that shit, that shit just drives me insane. I mean, why? Why would Yay! you, why would you do shit like that? But then I, <laughs> I am doing the devil's work. <laughs> I'm one of the devil's minions. And Tim is doing God's work. Tim is one of the good people. He's positive. He's positive he's a fucking begging asshole. That shit trips me out. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. But then uh, I had to I had to click on another one. I, I don't know. I just skimmed through it, though. I, I couldn't watch the whole thing. That's for damn sure. But um, it's him helping Teddy and Jolene <laughs> build this deck or do whatever they're doing. Oh, my God, is he a fucking lunkhead. Tim is a lunkhead. It's a good thing. Uh, oh, my God. This man has no, he can't make videos. Yeah, don't listen to anybody else, just listen to me. He can't make videos for shit. Again, I made that little coffee video. Now, it wasn't the greatest thing on the fucking planet, but 
did you see? I mean, a little bit of time, a little bit of effort for your, my community. Oh, they just love me and they want me. And I'm doing this for my community and positive thoughts, people. God sends me so many blessings with you people. Yeah, because you can't go out and do anything for yourself. Didn't you ever also hear, God helps those who help themselves? You do have free will, and you do have the fucking ability to do shit. Not just lay back and go, hey, I feel kind of sick. I got this pain. Hey, look, there's a hole. There's blood coming out. Well, I'll just lay here and hope God fixes it. That's what Timmy reminds me of. But, um, I mean, it's like, well, I've got this uh, Johnson nomad pneumatic air fucking nail gun. He doesn't know how to use a nail gun. <laughs> Teddy had to look. You got to press it up against the thing and pull the trigger, and it'll shoot the nail. Well, he shot it up, and it didn't shoot the nail in, so they had to adjust the the air pressure and everything. Man, did you ever do any framing? Did you ever do any roofing? You fucking pull that trigger, and you go. Blah, 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 blah. He's fucking putting two nails in each one. And that's another thing. What are we doing here? See, I'm going to hold this up, and you put a nail in, eat two nails in each one. And he went down and went, and he goes, he goes, put one here, 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 here. To me, that goes, blah, 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 blah. Boom, there we go. We got three of them done already. Now, not Tim. <laughs> Poof. And it, you see the recoil, and <laughs> he pushes it up to the next one. Poof. Now what do I do? Motherfucker, I just told you. Here, 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 here. Okay. Now what do you want me to do? Dickhead. I just told you. Every one. Two. Now what do you want me to do? I swear to God, I would have I'd have took that nail gun and I'd have nailed his lips shut. Oh my God, he's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't get on roofs anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's so easy. It's simple. <laughs> Especially when you're doing that shit. And if you're doing the deck with that thing, oh my God, man, you just stand up and walk along, hold that chair and go, blah, 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 blah. Tim will go, poof. What do you want me to do now? Put a nail there. Okay. And then there, 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 and there. Okay. What do you want me to do now? And then he, the phone, filming, <laughs> filming everything. Are you going to put the phone down and get to work or what? Yay! <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> what Teddy said to him. Please send money here in Mexico. Wait, I did it wrong and sent money. You got it all fucking ass backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, he's holding the camera. Here, hold this up, do this. And he's trying to do it and and hold the do and do this. And what do I do now? And, and she cut the nails off with this. And uh, Like, dude, put the fucking phone down. Prop it up somewhere and aim it somewhere. Buy a little tripod. Do something. Put the phone down. Oh, we're out here. We're out here working today. I'm helping out the boss. Yeah, he, uh, Miss Jolene. And, uh, you ain't helping shit. You're more of a hindrance. They'd have probably been done by now if it wasn't for you. The guy's a lunkhead. He's super fucking annoying. Ugh. That's right. Annoying as hell. The guy drives me insane. But that fucking video, that begging video, oh man. Two minute video just to say, hey, this is, this is a couple ways you can send me money. All right. Hi, Sarasota Tim here. Yeah, buy me a coffee. Use my Amazon affiliate link. I'm crushing it. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Amazing content. Yeah. Make a fucking video, dude. Do something. You know? Again, I made a little, a quick little fucking, made some coffee. Couple little different shots, play some stuff together, throw a little music bed behind. And stand there and do some talking. Even had to fucking zoom in real slow. Boom. Decent little stupid video. And literally that. Decent little stupid video. But Tim, no. He's got a... He even knocked the phone over and it went... 
Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, the phone. Oh, oh, oh. Still recording. <laughs> Dude, edit that shit out. Cut that shit out. Do something. But no. Oh. And it's his life. It's his life. Yeah, I did have coffee in the cup this time. <laughs> but, um, if I ask for more, more money here in Mexico, <laughs> how much will it cost me? <laughs> but, um, the thing is, 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 uh, is it possible to offer closed captions for live videos? During the stream? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. But, um, I mean, again, this is just, this is a little hobby thing. It's, it's something I do and I enjoy it. And yes, I get money. And yes, it's not just totally, you know, for shits and giggles because the simple fact of the matter is that, um, No matter what you do, you want a decent return on your investment. Yeah, no, he can't do thumbnails either. Yeah, it's when you, whenever you upload a video, I, I don't know if you're a creator or not, but whenever you upload a video, YouTube will randomly generate like three fucking, they'll take three different pictures or something stills from your video and they'll, yay! They'll uh, generate them and he uses them. I think Tim should do a van build series. <laughs> he can bet how soon something goes wrong each episode. Most prize for catastrophic failures. <laughs> Guess the catastrophic failure. But um, but yes, I I I do um, I do like uh, the biggest return for my investment, and my investment is all the shit that I put into this little stupid studio, all the cameras, equipment, and everything else. And the fact that I can do things like this and, uh, you know, do things like this. Who the fuck is nomadic fanatic? And uh, the other investment is my time. So I may have. So if I'm going to do, uh, you know, shit and it's going to get, you know, less than a thousand views. And if I do other shit and it gets five or 6,000 views, well, I don't know. I don't think you have to even be Tim. I mean, you can even be Tim. You don't have to be a fucking high school graduate to figure out that, yeah, the return on your investment is the other one. And, uh, well, I got the wrong thing, but this is the little, the kind of like the little experiment that I did. Where, there you go. Answering question. 1,000, 1. 1.3. The morning coffee did better than I thought. Two. What's it like being blind? Two. The uh, life redesigned one was two. E beggars, two. And then Tim, five. Tater, four. Another Tim. I can't see what it is. Blind fuck. Tim wants the Philippines five. There, thanking uh, Kevin and Michelle. Two. There's Tim. So, again, what uh, what would any sane person do? Keep doing the shit that you're gonna get the least the least amount of return for your effort and investment. <laughs> Thank you. That's dollar nine nine I ever spent my whole life. But yeah, it's just uh crazy. <laughs> and I, I don't I mean I don't mind doing shit like that. I, I actually like doing stuff, but there you go. It's the other thing is <laughs> have no original content why don't you do some original content you ride the coattails well see you only click on this shit when it says tim or tater the other stuff the ones that are screaming at me for doing original not doing original content they don't go and watch anything else they don't go hey good job by the way you finally did some original content <laughs> 
even though everything I do is original. So what if I watch somebody else's and give my opinion? It's still my fucking original content. It's my opinion. It ain't yours. Music license got claims here in Mexico. I got to fight that. Should be a global license. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in and edit out the thing. I played a little bit of your, uh, played some of your, your video. And that music started. And I was like, fuck. I'm going to get whacked for that for sure. <laughs> that's because that's when I when I read those things that's what I hear <laughs> you don't have you're riding Timmy's coattails you don't have any original content that's what I hear man I'm gonna tell you what and see this is another thing that drives me crazy about good old Sarasota Dim it's all this I'm good. I'm positive. God loves me. God provides me with blessings. God, 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 I'm God. Oh, yes, God this and God that. And, and me, no, me, I, oh, no, those other people that talk, spreading disparaging words about me are doing the devil's work. They're the devil's minions. They're evil people. Evil, but God blesses me. They don't, He doesn't bless them because they don't have positive thoughts. If you have positive thoughts, God will bless you. He will bless you with blessings. And like you find folks in my community, but those other people, no, they're, they're evil. They're evil. They're doing the devil's work. And uh, yeah, it's, it's horrible. They're horrible, horrible people. And then I watched some videos from way back when, and then I had some clips of other people because the videos are deleted. But uh, when Miss Tammy hurt herself and he fucking blew it off, even getting the flag staff, she said, I don't want this. I, I prefer the other one. I don't care. We're getting this one. And, you know, I'd like to go upstairs and no. And he just treated her like shit constantly. But God's on his side and I'm the evil one. You got to be fucking kidding me. Got to be kidding me. I highly doubt it. But then again, what are you going to do? Some folks, I mean, I mean, I could go to my sister-in-law's. They have a giant fucking mansion to pull out back. They got a fucking three or four car garage with an apartment above it. They have a fucking big long drive driveway with a gate at the end. Tons of property, a fucking pergola all this bullshit i could go sit in her yard and film and go man that's the life look here me poolside let me go in here in this big old kitchen and cook me something let me go upstairs now and play the baby grand piano now let me go to the library now let me go out here and kick back by the pool again isn't this the life it's not mine and that's what tim's doing yeah i'm here at somebody else's shit looking at their fucking view mooching off of them isn't this the life? I'm a freeloader. Still, like I said before, it's like that 30-year-old kid that just won't get the fuck out of the house. Yeah, I got good food. My laundry gets done. I got a nice room. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, because you're 30 and you're living in your mommy's house and she's still doing your fucking laundry and cooking your meals. That's what Tim is. A 65-year-old fucking toddler that kicks back and goes, this is the life. Look at this. I don't have to do shit. I don't have to pay for shit. I don't have to do shit. I just sit here and look out, look at the boat swaying and look at this. Isn't this a beautiful, this is the life that someone else created for you and provides for you. He's a piece of shit. And that's the way I see it. And I know it's a short one, but I got to get on out of here because it is Mrs. BV's birthday. And yeah, she's younger than me. Not by a whole lot, but she is younger than me. So, uh, yeah. Let me get on out of here. Uh-oh. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! Uh, imagine private business set their own rules and said they don't want a trailer in the park. How dare they? Yeah. Oh. Can't wait till next <laughs> assessor's paperwork is not complete. Only had three months. Yeah. Well, that's the thing I said. Uh, Tater waits till the eleventh hour because that way, if things do go awry, then he can. Oh, 
the drama. Oh, oh, woe is me. Oh, oh. It'll be something. And he'll have views because I don't think he's getting a whole lot of views going to NASCAR again and shit. But, but um, yeah. So if he gets there and it's the 11th hour and he's got something going wrong, he can go off and go off on a little rant and call his big daddy Kevin. And Kevin, you won't let me have it again. What did I do, Kevin? We'll come back here, little tater. We'll figure something out here in Arizona, little buddy. And they'll talk him off the ledge. But yeah, that trailer shit. <gasps> the trailer president won't let me. I never heard of it. So what? So what, dude? What do you think the fucking world revolves around you? How dare they not allow trailers or motorcycles or whatever? So what? Who gives a shit? You can't take your little motorcycle to the speedway. So, what are you going to do? Donuts in the fucking parking lot with your motorcycle? So you dropped it off at the fucking... Harley deer and say, here, fix it. And so you dropped it off there and you got it there for free. So what are you whining about, you little puss? And so what? The little campground didn't like trail. Well, they got, they got fucking fifth wheels with trucks. So if they want trucks with fifth wheels and they don't want you and your little trailer, tough shit. If I go into a restaurant and they say, we don't, we don't allow you in here with flip flops on. Well then, oh, I'm going to throw a fit and I'm going to jump up and down and I'm going to do, who gives a fuck? Go somewhere where they do allow flip-flops or don't wear those fucking gay things in the first fucking place and put some sneakers on and be a real person and go into a restaurant. So what? They don't like your damn trailer. Get over it there, tough guy. I guess you didn't fucking wave your... See that little check mark? And they didn't fucking care either. All right. Thanks, guys. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the members. You guys are awesome. I appreciate my moderators, as always. I thank everybody for coming on Thursdays. Next week, I promise, nothing going on. <laughs> It'll be a nice long one. I'll rant, and I'll even play guitar at the end. I know some people have been asking me to. So, yeah, I know I wait till the end. That way, everybody can fucking ditch that doesn't want to listen to me make noise, and the ones that do, they can hang out. So, um, yeah, next week, we'll get back to it. But, hey, happy wife. Happy life. Let me let me vent for a second. Thanks, everybody. See you next week.